So it's about 7.24 a.m. and I'm going to go ahead and prep dinner for tonight. All right, I cut up all my vegetables, so my potatoes, onions, and then I just had some carrots already, you know, pre-cut. Put my meat in there, and I used my McCormick Savory Roast Mix, and then also this Montreal Steak Seasoning. I put this on almost every type of beef that I make. It is so good, not just on the grill, but, you know, if you're making burgers, steak on the stove, I like to put put it on my pot roast so we're gonna let that cook for 10 hours so it should be done right around six o'clock and i'll make us some cornbread on the side and that's the dinner all right so i'm finally sitting down at my workstation here this is just my makeshift workstation until i'm back into the office and since i am back from maternity leave i'm gonna have to call it so that they can put me back in the system because I don't remember my password. And even if I did remember my password, it's long gone by now because they're supposed to update it ever so often. I've been off for three months. So I'm gonna call IT and see what I can get done before a poem wakes up. That is my three-year-old. I already hear the baby up. I have a three-year-old and a two-month-old. And the two-month-old is back there with my husband. So. I'm trying to get all of this done before you know they make their way up here but if not it's the first day back i don't um expect it to be very demanding at all um thankfully i had a co-worker manning my emails while i was gone so i'm pretty much coming back with a clean slate thank god so let's call it and get some work done and when the babies get up we'll come back Okay, so IT got me into the system, so I'm just going through my emails and looking at updates, FYIs of when I was gone, things that have changed with some of the carriers that I work with and things of that nature. So I guess I didn't introduce what I do. I am an underwriter for um, uh, an insurance uh, agency which they call like an MGA um, and we work with different carriers and I underwrite these policies specifically for renewal so I do renewal underwriting so I just basically I review renewal quotes and I offer quotes and I review inspections and audits and things of that nature um, for commercial insurance specifically small businesses so that is what i do so i'm just getting a little work done here um i had to take a quick break to feed palace my two month old she is breastfed so she was back there crying so i went and spent a little time with her and then i'm, I'm back now trying to get some things done i can't believe my three-year-old is still asleep it's 10 5 well I can't believe it. She went to sleep a little bit later. See, that's the thing about working from home and then having your kids at home. The schedule is way off. Not that we really had her on any type of schedule to begin with, but still. So when they get up, we'll see what they're going to get into today. Um, I really don't have anything planned for my three-year-old. Um, we do little preschool things here and there, but I need to schedule it to see how I'm going to get back into the flow of things. 
with that to be quite honest i just have to get back into the flow of things i'm so tired right now i want to take a nap <laughs> but i am trying to um create good habits with coming back to work so we shall see how this day goes it's smelling so good in here let's check on the pot roast see so that's another good thing with working from home you can get stuff done girl uh, let's see here okay so the roast has been cooking for about two hours now um i, I hear the water underneath bubbling so let me just see here well, there's the water can you see it okay let me mix some of this around a little bit like i mentioned i seasoned my meat with that montreal um steak seasoning which is so good and my potatoes and then i used a little mccormick um uh, mccormick pack so okay do i want to add more water i don't know let's just let it uh let's let it go down a little bit more and we'll come back and see but it's smelling oh so yummy your books uh-huh oh mm, good job popo you want to say hi hi mommy's starting to vlog a day in the life of working mom and wife right yeah you like that mommy has to work every day uh mommy i want to say something uh i does say uh, how i can work so be uh, come sit down uh, What's your name? My name is Paula. How old okay. are you? Three. And my whole friend is my mommy dad's hospital. She always and, likes to tell random stories on the and, camera. And, Nothing vlogging. And, or trying to practice vlogging. And, <laughs> and the come and the baby came in. And you slept and late last night. Why you put? Or you slept late? I mean, you slept in you, late today. Why you put us? She's having her own and conversation with you guys. When the baby comes, they come to my house and a little sister. A little sister? Yeah. She sleep. Okay. Are you hungry? Um. Yeah. What do you want to eat? Um, so I'm I'm pausing and breaking during my work <laughs> day so that I can make breakfast. It's late though. It's like it's after twelve. I think it's a little bit afternoon. Twelve. It's after twelve. So I want to eat. You want fresh toast sticks? Yep. I'm gonna cook Daddy some food. Too. Mommy. Hmm. I want to see. Popo, what are you making? I'm making. I 
Alright, so I just cooked everybody breakfast. Everybody is up now. <laughs> it is 12.46. And I took a break just to make a quick breakfast. Popo's over there eating her food. I got my pal pal right here. Hi, pal pal. She's probably going to want to nurse in a bit. And then I just had a plain bagel with some eggs. And some turkey sausage. So, yeah, I took a quick break. Going to get back to work. Um, you guys meet my husband when he gets back. He had to go run out and pick up his Mom. contact. Hi. Yes. Hi. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> uh, when he gets back, I have to run to the store and get a few things. Um, and I'll tell you guys what I do for work and things like that in the car when I have a little bit more quiet time and can focus or whatnot. And, yeah, so I'm going to get back, do a little bit more work, and we'll see how this day goes. So far, so good. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty chill day because it's my first day back from maternity leave. Um, so, yeah, poem sitting here watching some learning. And then um, after that, I'll probably sit her by me and have her color and do a few things. I'm going to try and start having her just do a lot of just kind of learning, hands-on type of things before 3 p.m. And then after 3 p.m., she can kind of chill play watch whatever you know after that so yeah guys we'll see oh someone getting fussy pal pal are you getting fussy mommy baby hmm? i'm gonna have to pick her up in a second so I went to get one thing, <laughs> a feminine product, and came back with this. This is why I don't like going to the store because I get things they technically don't need. But just a quick Publix run. Got my husband some more beef jerky because he likes beef jerky. And Publix brand, Target's brand is really good too, but Publix is good. Got us some little chicken wings for lunch because our pot roast won't be done until about maybe six or seven. Y'all. 
my husband put me on to this pralines and cream ever since he got the baskin robbins kind i've been loving it and i've tried other brands but the baskin robbins is the best i think the like the little sugar pecans and this brand is so good and i've been on like a straight non-stop i want pralines and cream we got some um mac and cheese gouda cheddar gouda mac and cheese from Publix now if you were to eat it like this it'll it wouldn't be all that but we have bought this for a cookout we went to and we doctored it up with some pepper added some extra cheese it was so good so I feel like that that would go good with the pot roast just some candy because you know we some chocolate lovers over here and then I just had a taste for uh, some vanilla coffee and this is really good I like to put it in the freezer let it get a little slushy perfect and then eat it let's check on this pot roast y'all Ooh. yes let me get my fork mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay look at that it's starting to peel away it's starting to peel away I didn't even have to really cook this for 10 hours I could have did eight it's pretty much ready but it's got about maybe three two maybe two and a half more hours on the timer but y'all that is going to be good for dinner so we got us some pot roast i'm going to doctor up that mac and cheese and then i'm gonna make us some cornbread now normally y'all i would use um let me go on my cabinet normally i would use jiffy because we just like jiffy but they didn't have jiffy so we are using this cornbread have y'all had this before? Let me know if y'all like it. We're going to try that today. Let's go check on the baby. I think she's still asleep. Let's check on the baby. Her dad wrapped her in his little eagle's blanket. You know, daddies be having rigged stuff, but it be working. Hmm. I'm going to let my sweet girl sleep. Hey guys, so I'm pretty much done for the day. I just have no more work in me and I've done everything I needed to do today. So while well, I have a little downtime, which I don't know how much that'll be because I hear the little girl over here. She's moving. So let me make this quick. <clears throat> but welcome guys to my life. I am a mother of two little girls, one three, one two months. Their names are Poem and Palace. And I am married to my husband who I have known for going on seven years and will be married for three years, December 9th. So I just wanted to start this vlogging lifestyle channel to talk about the day in the life of a working woman. I work a corporate job um, Monday through Friday. We are at home because of, of, you know, the pandemic. I've been home for about a year and seven months working from home. And so I'm so used to it now, but we are going back to the office, I think pretty soon. So uh, when I do go back to the office, you guys will be going with me as well. Um, of course, for confidentiality reasons, um, you know, I will be very responsible about that. But I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be raw. Um, you know, our kids are not in daycare. And so it's between me and my husband, you know, um, basically keeping them while we're working, going back and forth when he's at work, you know, I'm holding down the fort. And when I'm at work and he's here not working, he helps out a lot. So we're just going through this keeping it real keeping it raw i don't know what you may see <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes you may see a little raise of a voice you know with the kiddos but you know it's real life and so i just kind of wanted to document this and help women out there know that they are not alone i also want to kind of find myself again through this journey to it's just self-love and self-care. Um, now, a little bit about my job. 
Oh, y'all, she's up. I told y'all. It wouldn't be no downtime for long. This is my life. Hi, Mama Sita. Hi, Tanka Wanka. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. All right, y'all, let me pick her up before she start crying. <sighs> oh, did you just spit up? Oh, I thought she spit up on my leg, y'all. You say hi. Did you have a good nap? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so what do I do? I am a underwriter. So I underwrite policies um, for different carriers right now at this point in my job. Um, I work for, kind of, I guess you could say, a wholesale broker or an MGA a managing um agency and i have authority to underwrite different policies with different insurance insurance companies so um that's what i do right now i specifically do renewal policies for commercial business so small businesses that is what i do i have been in insurance for about eight years right out of college started out in customer service and really just worked my way up to where I wanted to be, which was underwriting. And so it's been a good last few years for me. Um, and I'm just moving forward. Uh, part time, not even really part time, but as a hobby, I am a makeup artist as well. I actually started YouTube doing makeup, doing makeup tutorials and things of that nature back in 2011. And I do have, um, or I did have another page that that changed from makeup to when I, you know, got a family, my family, I know my daughters, my first daughter's labor and delivery is on that channel and all of that. If you guys are interested in that, I, I may put that information <laughs> down below. I don't know. I may not. You guys let me know. But I just wanted to just start fresh, start new with kind of my life as to where it is right now. So I will be taking you guys along. I hope you like it. You know, I hope we can build a community here of women. Um, what else did I leave out? I'm 32 years old. I'll be 33 in February. And yeah, so the life of a young, not so young, because I'm not old yet, <laughs> mother of two little ones and a wife and just how I navigate through life just doing this. And I'm bringing my family along with me. So yeah, I hope you guys. Oh, see y'all. I told y'all. Look, we got to pay her some attention. What, pal, pal? Huh? What you looking at, baby? Pal, pal. And when you hear me refer to pal, pal, I'm talking about my little baby palace. And when you hear me refer to popo, I'm talking about my big girl poem. So. <laughs> See, I told y'all, y'all. She, I call her hollering Helen because this girl holler. Like, she don't even cry sometimes. She just holler. And even when she get what she wants, she's like, come on, hurry up. Eh. And so, this little noise she making, that's my hollering Helen. Hey. Oh, what Helen? Y'all, she's always looking off into the distance, smiling like she's playing with somebody. I have to say, she's playing with the angels. She's playing with the angels, so yeah. Um, Y'all might hear Popo in the background. is the pot roast we put on this morning when I woke up we made us some cornbread and I tasted it the cornbread is actually good so whatever that brand was that I referenced earlier in the vlog get that if you haven't tried it and if Jiffy is not available because it's really good and then here is the Gouda mac and cheese like I mentioned before we just added some extra cheese and some pepper a little bit of salt and the husband is home so he is about to eat and I guess you guys are about to meet him now How's the food? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's 
good. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Guys, this is my husband, Dre. <laughs> this is my husband, Dre. Full-time mom, full-time wife. Full-time corporate America worker. So this is my life, guys. You met everyone except Big for Dre. Big dog, daddy. And okay. Yeah, buddy, buddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? but, but hey, vlog, what's good? Let me flip it over. Hold on. I gotta get used to vlogging. This is hubby, guys. This is who you heard early in the background. Yeah, man. Look at my forehead. <laughs> yeah, he just got off work, so. I'm tired, relax. It's 8.50 now. We ate poem semi eight. If you have a toddler who is a picky toddler and only eats certain things, please comment down below what you're doing now, to hi. try and get them to eat hi. better things. Now, okay, get Wait. down. Get down like that you said. But yeah, guys, so pretty much you saw my day in the life Stop today. Um, it was kind of just normal. Back to work, dealing with the kids, cooking, and pretty much an easy day. So, oh, a tiny bit, a tiny bit, a little what bit. About Holland Helen over there. She, Holland Helen. Holland. I think I told you about Holland Helen. I did. I told her about Holland Helen. She was hollering a little bit, but she was good. So, yeah, guys, this is my first vlog, the first of many more to come. If you would like to see certain things, let me know. But this channel, like I mentioned, is going to be mostly vlogging about the day in the life of a full-time working mom and wife. And just certain things of getting back to me and just what we deal uh, with you, as, as you women. No wifely duties? No, really what duties? <laughs> like, what duties are we talking about? Um, but... No. I don't want to think about it. Nothing nasty. But um, yeah, guys. So I will see you all in another video. Thank you, thank you for watching.